friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision with a 2.2 millimeter keratome yes in this case the main wound is 2.2 millimeter and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being injected into the anterior chamber and then two side ports are being made this is the side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is being done in this case the rexis is being done by the 26 case pain needle cystitum because it is a bit cumbersome to maneuver the uterta forceps through this 2.2 millimeter wound so the rexis has been completed by the needle itself and now hydro dissection hydro dissection is being done with a 27 gauge cannula the nucleus is then tapped some more hydro yes and the nucleus rotates very nicely now visco is injected then and then the tip of the FECO handpiece 2.2 millimeter tip of attached to the handpiece is being introduced into the anterior chamber bevel down first then it is turned and bevel is up now and now this is direct chop bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus go for a distance and then chop so it is not difficult to use a 2.2 millimeter tip only thing is surgery is a little slow but not very slow and the pieces are emulsified I'm using continuous mode FECO power is 70% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the chamber is very stable there is no surge and this is the last portion of the nucleus yes the chopper is removed and the chamber becomes more stable and now there are two small bits of nucleus it is very easy to scort out these bits of nucleus before using bimanual IA by this Simco just use very low vacuum and remove those small bits of nucleus and now since the side ports are very small Simco will not go through these side ports so I'm using bimanual irrigation aspiration and it is very easy to remove cortex from all around by the bimanual irrigation aspiration some 
cortex is sticking to the posterior capsule it is displaced by fluid z and then it comes out now i am in ia2 mode and i'm doing polishing of the posterior capsule by ia2 here the vacuum is 30 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 20 ml per minute and then some hydro polish yes the posterior capsule is very clean now in this case we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and that will be implanted using viscoelastic substance meticulous cleaning of the posterior capsule is being done all around yes and now two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber as well as into the capsular bag and now the wound has been increased to 2.4 millimeter and this is a 2.2 millimeter compatible cartridge and the lens goes into the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision and now Viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of this intraocular lens is being removed. This is the irrigating proof has gone behind the eye well, irrigating the capsular bag and removing the visco from the capsular bag. Irrigation and aspiration is then used together and then all the viscoelastic substance comes out so this has been a thorough cleaning of visco and now this is moxie now the side ports are hydrated nicely so that these stab wounds close. And the main cause of infection is the wounds get open in the post-op period. So all the wounds should be watertight at the conclusion of surgery this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the wounds are checked by cotton taped Johnson Bard there should not be any leakage from any place after checking the wounds the surgery is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do fake emulsification using a 2.2 millimeter FECO 